I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this though. The only thing that, and I understand why he do it, nigga. Like, why not, nigga? I'm trying, nigga. Niggas just trying to get, like, I'm trying to be a made man. Like, I'm trying to be rich as hell forever. Like, I'm trying to be bigger than whatever. But the only thing that fucked me up about trap, I guess, is the fact that he's doing this specifically. Like. I kind of felt like he kind of went outside of what he was just to be like this, like, you know, character in the industry. Like, which As is fine, in, like in, I said. In terms of what he started at? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. It's Obviously, you need all of this to be Paul's bigger in a sense with the world or whatever but nah bro like you know what i think it's like is? Go, ahead, uh, go ahead nah nah you good you good i was gonna compare it sorry about that yeah, i was gonna out. compare it to the asap rocky right and i hate to compare them too but it's there's a reason why i feel like people kind of like there's a joke of them being compared, I guess, quote unquote. I don't think it's a yeah. joke, but uh, Rocky's ro- very cultish, right? Yeah. So the thing with Rocky is he never really left what he was. Like he still is that. Stay like, on that, cause I, that's a great comparison. Right, cause in, like in the commercial with the Rihanna shit, you know he in the he in the living room, you know she like yo go to the store, you know what I mean? He throw in the baby, construct, baby, we, need we need pumpers, we need baby, we need pumpers. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> he tie on the t shirt, nigga. Everybody know right. He he the t shirt around his head. He put the Tibbs on. He baggy shit on. He run to the store. Niggas running with him. Don't they, they they knocking shit over? Like, bro, that's that's the the essence of ASAP. Like, that's what they always been. Like, he's never left that. Like, it's always been that. Stay on that. I think what uh what I was gonna say with Travis and the comparison to Rocky, why I think is probably perfect, perfect comparison, because there's a point in an artist's career where you got to make music that's going to bring you the larger audience or you can make the decision of making the music that you like to make. It's always, it's always that it's always the, that option. Like, that's what I said. Like I understand it. Cause you know, essentially you're not really going to reach certain levels without that route. I guess you could say like, we know plenty of artists that we fucked with from off rip and we've seen them make the option like you got the spitters like you know what i'm saying spitter even kind of low-key made that option to go that way but still went back the way he been like independent cult ish you gotta you gotta play both sides like you gotta play both sides when it comes to music oh shit rp to mac miller is an interview where he said it he was basically you know he was the independent king but then he crossed over but he stayed underground in a way. Is a you got to play both sides of the game. You gotta, you know, what I mean, come up underground, cult like following. I'm hip hop, but there's gonna be a point where if you want to get more successful, you have to play the game of the industry. However, you do it, whether you fully go in or you kind of keep one foot in, one foot out. It's like that's the difference between where, and that's why I felt you when you like Travis. He got to this point, he's as successful as he is, but he kind of strayed away from his original Al Faro sound and you know what I mean image style. But that's mm-hmm. the difference between Rocky being where he is now and mm-hmm. musically, just specifically musically, and where Travis got to a little step above. All right. It's, it's just interesting with this hip hop shit. I feel well, I think I it's all subjective. Wrong, I don't necessarily say Travis is a step above ASAP. Like, I feel like ASAP could drop a classic right now. Like, he could drop an album right now, and it'll be, like, it could be a classic, like, potentially. But if you comparing it to a nigga that's making a song that's already lit, 
but not necessarily quality wise as far as the song per song goes. But the nigga throws Bad Bunny in the weekend on it. That's already doing billions on their own, trillions. Very like you can't compete with position. a nigga that's kind of always been him, staying in his lane. That might have a. You you might hear Ye on a Rocky song. You might hear a Big Sean, or you might hear a, a Sexy Red, or you might hear a fucking Glorilla. Like Rocky is that type of nigga. Yeah, he. It seemed like he and I would if if we making a decision of who I would want to be in their terms of their career, I would pick Rocky because it seems like he's a little bit more free with what he could yeah, do. Trav, um, yeah. Travis is kind of in a box of, yo, I got to do this type of shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I got to go extravagant and perform in Egypt. He's a walking commercial, right? He really is. He's a walking commercial. But now, if you look at Rocky, what? who's to say Rocky is not just as big or even bigger? Pause. His wife is Rihanna. The I, the difference. This is why I think it's different. Is because what the and speaking for the internet and just internet culture, what they decide. That's what like obviously to us, Rocky put out an album is gonna be. We think it's fire. We gonna say it. But the narrative online, I don't think it's gonna be that. I think the narrative around Rocky now is a point where, like I said, I. I, I fuck with how he made the com- that Beats commercial, how he played into the narrative of, yo, all Rocky going to be doing now is going out and getting pampers for the baby. He, first let, off, he leaned into that shit. First off, the, and not to cut you off, the commercial in general, that shit is fire. The song that's playing in the commercial is fire. The whole vi- the whole aesthetic of the co- this shit is fire, bro. Like it, fire like it could be a video like that's what i'm saying he could drop an album right now and i'm sure <laughs> i'm pretty sure quality was i'm not saying numbers wise it'll top astral world commercial wise it could but it can potentially because of what he ha- has made himself like in totality from other things that all of that shit counts like the same way with Kanye and all these guys like all that other shit counts from fashion uh, to 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 being married to Rihanna <laughs> like, that song the song from that video like, that's the song that he dropped too that uh, right that's the that's the shit that yeah dropped. yeah and I'm I was gonna sure say gonna be on his album to finish up uh first of all this is all just a, amazing marketing, brilliant branding. He did a Beats yeah. commercial, and he didn't have Rihanna in it, but he had an audio clip of her. So it's like, yo, we're not, we not going to pay. We're not going to. Rihanna, like, yo, we're not going to give you, because that's a bag. You got to pay Rihanna to be in the shit. In but the, yo, I'm going to yeah. use your audio and get a yeah. bag off of it. But like, yeah. it's funny that the video, it, why I thought it was so fire, it looks like a Rocky video, and it is. He directed the shit. I just looked at it, and it says self-directed Beat Studio. Uh, pro campaign, so fire, man. That but that clearly, Rocky song, that shit is hard. That shit is fire. Son. It clearly was, I think, in my opinion, was Rocky's idea to not even have her actually in the commercial. I feel like he's done shit like this, like in the past. But the nigga is bad creative with certain shit. Like the nigga is ill. But yeah, like. I would have, nigga, what? Well, there's no need. For it. I feel like there, it's too much for you to put you visually in something. So, yeah, nah, we just gonna throw your voice in there and tell me go to the store. Ah, she it, pregnant too. It's it, like, nigga, I don't want to go out there, nigga. Y'all right, do nah, that. She could have been sitting on the couch right there. Yeah. She could have just been sitting on the couch. Like, yo, with the, with the baby in her, uh, her, her arm or something. Like, you know, could have, you know. Breastfeeding. Some ill shit, but like I said, it was still fire. Like, yeah, still fire. Stand clear of the closing doors, please.